Automatic expansion valves, or AEVs, use the same principle as a fixed orifice device. AEVs have a hole that allows the refrigerant move through it. This hole controls the pressure of the refrigerant. In automatic expansion valves, the opening hole is adjustable. The hole can be increased or decreased in size depending on the cooling demand. In AEVs, if we need more cooling, the hole will be larger to let more refrigerant through. That way, we can provide more refrigerant to do more cooling in the evaporator. If we need less cooling, the hole will be smaller to let in less refrigerant. In automatic expansion valves, the hole size is controlled by a diaphragm and a spring. Let's take a closer look how the diaphragm and spring combination works. The diaphragm is flexible piece of metal that can be bent. Because the diaphragm is made of metal, it won't break or snap easily. The diaphragm works by partially covering the opening of the metering device. The spring is a coil-like device that can compress or extend. We see springs in everyday things like door springs or mouse traps. In automatic expansion valves, the spring is attached to the diaphragm we just talked about. The spring is attached to the diaphragm. So when we pull the spring back, the diaphragm opens up the orifice hole making the opening bigger. A bigger opening means more refrigerant can pass through it and more cooling can be provided. When we press on the spring, this makes the diaphragm close up part of the opening. This makes the opening size smaller. As a result, less refrigerant will flow through the opening. So in AEVs, the combination of the spring and the diaphragm allow us to control the hole size. Depending on the hole size, more or less refrigerant can flow through the metering device. This changes the refrigerant's pressure. So in AEVs, the combination of the spring and the diaphragm allow us to change and control the hole size. Depending on the hole size, more or less refrigerant can flow through the metering device. This changes the refrigerant's pressure. AEVs automatically change the diaphragm and spring position so that we can adjust to the amount of cooling required. The orifice opening size controls the pressure of the refrigerant and the pressure of the refrigerant controls cooling in the evaporator. In this module, we looked at the working of automatic expansion valves. These are one of the most basic types of modulating metering devices. We rarely see them in the HVAC appliances that are seen in our daily life.